G'day folks, Ben from Snowy's. Today I've got for you the Sawyer Squeeze water filtration system. Get it. This water filter comes complete with accessories so you can set it up or use it in multiple ways. It's also versatile enough to provide clean water for groups and it's perfect for camping. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel. So make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. This is the Sawyer Squeeze in my handy. This is the filter element. You get a few other accessories with it. This alone weighs 85 grams with all the accessories in the kit, about 190 grams. And it measures about 40 centimeters by about 4.8 centimeters. Now you can't take this apart. It's a sealed unit. The only thing you take off is the top here. So you can use this in multiple ways, um, which I'll show you shortly, but a little bit about the construction first. So on this end here, this is where the water goes in. You've got a little flow indicator here. You've got a thread here, it's a 28 mil thread, which suits most uh, just standard um, soft drink bottles. I'll show you that shortly. The water goes through here and comes out the other end here. You've got an outlet here and a little cap that you can screw on here to turn this into a sippy bottle if you like. And I'll show you a bit more on that shortly. But in between here is Sawyer's microfiber filter. It's sealed inside here. And what that means is there's thousands of little tubes that the water goes inside the tube from this end here and gets squeezed through the walls of the tube to the other side of the tube. And within that tube, there are what they call their absolute micron ratings. So all the holes are 0.1 microns. And they say the walls of these tubes are 75% stronger than most other filters. So it's got a really long life to it. Now that 0.1 micron filter means that this is gonna remove all the protozoa, or 99.99%, sorry, of the protozoa and bacteria that's gonna make you sick from drinking water. It's also gonna remove all the microplastics. So you can take generally relatively clean water. If you use dirty water, you clog it up quicker, but use relatively clean looking water. It's still gonna remove all those baddies out of the water that you can't see, but are gonna make you sick. Now to use this guy, you've got multiple options. They've covered all lightweight hiking adventures as well as camping and group filtration as well. I'll start with an inline option. So you've got these things here that come with it. These are the caps that go with the two bottles that we've got here. So we'll go a bit more on that shortly. Uh, you've got a, a hose here for gravity setup and also a bag here for the gravity setup. But for the inline setup, what you first need is this little gray cap here. Now this screws on the bottom of the filter here. And I could now use this, um, say if I had a backpack um, or uh, your backpack with a hydration bladder in it. It's a little bit bulkier, so there are smaller options that are better for this, but you could use it as an inline filter. So the tube from the backpack, which might have contaminated water, comes out and attaches on here flows through the filter here, out the other side here, and I can attach the hose on here, out the other side, and up to my mouth where I can sip water straight through it and filter as I use it. You can also just attach this straight to the top of a bottle. So if I put this little sippy cap on the top here again, this is just a flip cap with a sip that, uh, um, spout that you can use your lips against to suck the water through. That will attach on top of one of the included squeeze bottles here. So I could attach or put dirty water in here and I can now sip water straight out of that or put water in it and squeeze water out of through the filter and into another receptacle, a bottle or a glass if I like. Also good to note that this thread here is just your standard 28 mil thread, so regular 1.25 litre bottle, it screws on the bottom there. I can now sip straight from that bottle or squeeze water from this bottle through that filter there as well. Now you can also use this as a gravity fed filter what you need for that are these extra accessories. Now take the little sippy cap off of there. Now important to note that all of these are compatible. So this fits on here. So if you don't, if the hose you've got for your hydration bladder <clears throat> is too small for that one, um, for the, the sort of spout in there, you can attach this on here and then attach it to a slightly smaller spout there if you like. But to turn this into a gravity filter, we put the gray cap on the end here again. It's gonna put that down. I'm gonna grab one of the collapsible bottles here. Now, good to note that these bottles all come with little caps here, both of these, so you can actually seal them up if you like. Have clean water in one, dirty water in another. If I attach this on to one of these bottles here, and you get this included mesh pouch here, I'm gonna put this upside down in this mesh, mesh pouch here. Now, this is only gonna be helpful if you wanna hang it and just let the gravity do its thing over time without you having to actually filter it out. I do up the spout on the top there, I do up the, the drawstring on the top and just leave this blue section hanging out underneath. You get this grey hose, if I attach the grey hose onto here, I then attach the other end of the grey hose, taking note of the direction of flow through the filter here to my filter there, 
Now I've got dirty water in here. You've got a little hanging point on this bag here. So if I fill that up, hang this on the side of my tent or in a tree or whatever, the water's gonna drip gradually th just through gravity, force down through the hose here, force its way through the filter and out the other side here. Now I could put that straight into the top of a jerry can if I like, or if I wanna just uh, seal it off and just take what I need as I need it, I can put the cap on here, that's gonna seal it. I open this up, water's gonna flow gradually out of there, not fast once again, because it's only gravity fed, but open that up, leave it in your bottle, let it fill, do whatever you want, come back and then seal it up again later. So that's your gravity option to use this filter. Now the flow rate for the filter is about 32 to 46 liters an hour, depending on how you're using it. Um, and how, or how tightly you're sort of trying to squeeze it, which I think equates to around about, uh, I think 500 to 900 milliliters per minute. Now that flow rate will slow down as it kind of clogs up, as it gets dirty. But the good thing about these is it's filled maintainable. So if you do find it's really slow filtering it, you can flush water back through the unit here with the included cleaning plunger here. Now to do that, important to note, you wanna fill this with clean water because you don't wanna be putting dirty water in this side of the filter. So fill this up with clean water and you do this a few times over and over. We push this onto the outlet, so the clean water side of the filter here and squeeze the water back through the unit so it spurts out the other side here. Dispose of that water because that's dirty water. Do that a few times and you're pushing all the, the nasties back out of the filter to try and restore the flow of the filter back to as close as normal as it can be. Now, they claim it's an American product. They say there's about 100,000 gallons of water lifetime out of this, which if you're talking liters, I think equates to about 378,000 liters of water through this before you've got to throw it out, which is an awful lot of water for all your adventures. So you're not gonna to need to buy another one of these anytime soon, unless you're filtering a massive amount of water for big groups of people. That is the Sawyer Squeeze Filtration System. Check them out online at snowies.com.au.